Hey, you want to play rock, paper, scissors? Uh, sure, but fair warning, I am the state champion. At what? Losing? Let's just do it. Rock, paper, scissors. Paper covers rock, I okay, win. I wasn't ready. No worries, it's best two out of three. Duh. Rock, paper, scissors. Not fair. I thought you sneezed. Nope, I just tricked you. That's why I'm the champ. Fine, last round. I am saying go this time. Rock, paper, scissors. Hello Blue Devils, welcome to the final and possibly most exciting day of homecoming week as we have another spooky season fact to share. Did you know that The Exorcist was the very first horror movie to be nominated for Best Picture at the Oscars? The film actually got nominated for Oscars 10 times, all in 1974, but only won twice. Best Adapted Screenplay and Best Sound Mixing. From the first horror film to Best Picture, the classic horror film has made a long way since its premiere in 1973. So, without any further delay, to the Pledge of Allegiance and Moment of Silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, and you may be seated. Now, let's visit Mr. Ball for our new weekly episode of Ballroom News. Good morning, Marietta. It is homecoming Friday. Mr. Ball here with Ballroom News. Super excited about our pep rally this morning. Homecoming parade at five o'clock. Game tonight, 7.30 versus Edgewater. Congratulations to our homecoming court, their escorts and their families. Super excited to see you tonight. Enjoy homecoming. Thank you. Please have fun as we draw closer and closer to our homecoming dance and make sure to stay safe. While we are still on the subject of homecoming, Student Council is prepping the gym for our spectacular global pep rally. We hope that you're ready to embark on this worldwide trip of school spirit and pre-homecoming excitement. Hi guys, I'm today with your student body presidents and they're going to tell you more about the pep rally coming up. Welcome everyone to your 2019 homecoming pep rally. This year's theme is around the world. Every class had to choose a theme with it being a location or like environment. So we have the freshmen in the Antarctica. We have sophomores in the, be uh, in the jungle. We have juniors in the beaches and seniors are killing it in Rome. So how does this compare to your first homecoming pep rally here? So, you know, as freshmen, everything can be a little rough sometimes. So I think we've come a long way, especially since sophomore year, you know, we won. Spirit's sick. Junior year, won it again. And hopefully for the third time, we'll win again. Super excited to see how we bring it all together for that third win. Is there anything else you guys want to add before we go into the pep rally? Good luck to everyone. But, you know, seniors, seniors on, on top. top. Period. Thank you, guys. We're going to be speaking a little more on homecoming, so stick around, stick, stick around for a little more, for a little longer. If you still haven't gotten your hair and makeup done for homecoming, my Renee has got you covered. Let's check out this informational video for more. It ain't hard to 
When I was 14 years old, I started using my sister's makeup palettes and that's where I got inspired to do makeup. So my freshman year, I started doing makeup for the students at MHS and also people outside of school. Then in my sophomore year, I moved to My Renee Cosmetics and started a lash line. Then from there, my junior year, I did graduation makeup and now I'm going to be doing homecoming makeup. And I also have YouTube tutorials and also different other types of videos on YouTube on my YouTube channel. I really enjoyed getting my makeup done yeah. and getting to know my. Oh, I love my makeup. It's beautiful. I had a great experience. So I use my YouTube channel to start my platform and to promote myself and get my name out there. I also used it as makeup tutorials, public interviews, blogs, etc. Now let's head into our announcements. As we said earlier, today is the big day of As we said earlier, today is the big day, everyone. Our Worldwide Pep Rally exhibition is ready to take shape. May the best worldly spirit theme take home the spirit stick. If you still haven't gotten tickets yet, instead of us telling you, here's a video just in case you haven't gotten the news. I got here. It's almost 2.30. Perfect. Oh, I finally got it. Don't forget to buy your homecoming ticket for 2.30. Today's the last day. Also, homecoming shirts are now on sale. Small through extra large will be sold for $10 and 2XLs will be sold for $12. Shirts can be purchased from any cheerleader or in Mrs. Nelson's classroom. Now on to our other announcements. Would you like to help in marketing the MHS baseball program? Help with the game day logistics? Help in promoting fundraisers? Wear some baseball swag? And earn some service hours at the same time? MHS baseball program announces interviews for 2020 Diamond Dolls baseball season. All, interest, all interested in information and signing up for an interview, stop by Coach Rogers' room H220 to leave your name and contact information and pick up a teacher recommendation form. Interviews will be scheduled after school October 7th and October 9th. DECA has a meeting on Thursday, October 10th at 2.45 in room E103. You will receive information and permission slips for regional competitions and more. Don't forget to pay your dues by Friday, October 25th to Miss Longwell in room E103. There will be a tennis interest meeting on October 17th in room E106, Coach Hooley's art room. Boys and girls, all levels of experience are welcome. See Coach Hooley for any questions. Remember everyone, submissions for the Reflections Art Contest will be due on Wednesday, October 9th. Artwork and digital entries can be dropped off along with an entry form at the MHS front office. And please make sure to also save the date for the MHS Reflections Celebration, which is on Tuesday, October 22nd at 6.30 p.m. Winners will be announced. For any seniors wanting to submit a quote for the yearbook, the deadline ends today. On next Friday, October the 11th, there will be auditions for African dance in the, bla in the Black Suite. Please wear all black and come out to audition. And finally, as it's been mentioned earlier in this show, our homecoming week has been building all the way up into tonight's football fight under the light. Our homecoming matchup between our Marietta Blue Devils and Florida's Edgewater Eagles will face off at Northcutt Stadium for possibly the biggest game this season. Kickoff will start at 7.30 p.m. before all of the other festivities. Hey Carson, speaking of celebration, let's talk about the celebration of life. What? Bad baby names. Why? Because they make you feel a whole lot better about the name you've been given in life. Mm, indeed they do. I'm very thankful that my mom didn't name me Twisted Wizard 2 because that would be terrible. Twisted Wizard 2? What kind of name is that? I, you know, I don't know. But we went around asking everyone about the worst baby names imaginable. Let's take a look. Good evening, Marietta. I am Brock, your host of 5 Seconds to Answer, where you are required to answer a question in 5 seconds. Today we will be asking, what is the worst name you could name your child? Let's find out. What's the worst name you can name your child? Brock. 
What's the worst name you could name your child? I don't know. Wilmer? <laughs> What's the worst name you could name your child? Harold. Eat it, Harold. What's the worst name you could name your child? The worst name. Dung. <laughs> Dung. <laughs> Heard it here. What's the worst name you could name your child? Pickle. Thank you for all the questions that you guys answered today. And I was very thankful. Have a great evening, Marietta. <laughs> what? Pickle? Look, pick Pickle's a perfect name. How could you say that? Ah, oh, man. Mm -mm -mm. It's okay. It's okay, Carson. <laughs> no, I won't stand for this pure violation of justice. Pickle is a great name that deserves more recognition and support. You know what? I agree. I think Pickle is a very funny sounding name that lights up the entire room. Anyways, I think that's all the time we have for today. For any more information, please visit BlueDoubleNews.com. From Good Morning Marietta, I'm Cindy Blackford. And I'm Carson Sheary. And, and we, we hope you have a good morning, morning Marietta. Marietta.